Good afternoon, dear visitors. In the last video, I showed you how to install the latest security updates on Windows Server 2012 or 2, after Microsoft stopped public support. Many in the comments asked me if there was a video and instructions on how to repeat this for Windows 8. One in 2024 and beyond to keep it as secure as possible. Let me show you the sequence of actions to achieve this goal. Since Windows Server 2012 are 2 and Windows 8, one have the same kernel, you can safely take updates for the server version and install them on the client version, which is what we will do now at the preparatory stage. We go to the update catalog website, here you need to download 3KB. The link to the catalog will be in the description of the video. The first step is update KB5037021, it will update the SSU servicing stack. The servicing stack update on Windows is an update that improves the Windows operating system update process. SSU contains the fixes and improvements needed to ensure that updates, including security updates, install correctly and smoothly. Installing SSU before other updates helps avoid problems with updating the operating system and keeps it functioning correctly. Click download, the update itself is small and will download quickly. The second step is updating the ESU, the KB5017220 package is responsible for it. ESU, Extended Security Updates, is a service provided by Microsoft to extend security support for certain versions of the Windows operating system after the end of support. The Extended Security Updates package itself is small, the only thing is to check what bitness of Windows you have, and based on this, download the required package. Now you need to download the latest security update package for Windows Server 2012 or 2. In the Microsoft Update Catalog search bar, you need to enter Security Update Windows Server 2012 or 2. As a result, you will get a comprehensive list of KBs. We need to find the latest monthly security quality patch rollup for x64 based Windows Server 2012 or 2 systems. In my example, it is KB5037823052024. Download it. Now we need to create a file to edit the Windows registry. With this content, I would like to note that for each subsequent update you will need to create your own file with your own distinctive data, public key token number, and version. We will get the public key token number and version from the latest monthly set of security quality patches. Open KB5037823 using an archiver, I use WinRAR. Open the Windows 8. 1KB5037823x64. XML file. Your browser will open, find the public key token code on the page and copy it into your notebook. We'll need him. Next, open the file with the cab format, this is the voluminous update package itself. Find the Nifest file in it starting with the name amd 64 underscore microsoft windows s. Dot ed security up to TSA. Please note the public key token number in the file name. Open this file, we need to find the version and copy this number to our file to edit the registry. I will leave a link to the finished reg file in the description of the video. Now that we have everything prepared, we can proceed to the next step. Install KB5037021. Launch it and just click yes to install. We are waiting for the end. Next, install KB5017220, similar to the previous update package. The process itself will also be fast. The next step is to make changes to the registry, run the file that you created earlier and agree to the changes and be sure to reboot the system.
After the reboot, we install the main security update package, in my example it is KB5037823. After installing it, we reboot your system again and wait for the update to be applied. If everything is fine and the package has been applied, then I congratulate you, you have updated the Windows 8. One security system to the most current state. To self-test, make sure the latest package has the installed status in the update list. As you can see, everything turned out to be very simple, the only thing is that you now have to manually download the latest update package and change the file that corrects the Windows registry for it, but you get the latest security packages, and this is important. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it, if you have any questions, I'm waiting for them in the comments.